What's going on, world? It's your boy, Big Chips, here. Today, I just got back from actually getting outside a little bit and getting some exercise. It is cold here in the hills of North Carolina, so uh brings a whole definition <laughs> to cold mountain. But uh, stick with me. It's your boy, Big Chips, from bizandchips.com. We're going to be going over part four of our SMART goals, and that is making realistic goals. All right? We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. We are here and we are trying to warm up. I'm leaving my toboggan on because it's cold. But uh, I want to talk to you today about making realistic goals. And, you know, when we went over, you know, factor five of ultimate confidence, that was our goal section. And that's where all this is actually spawning from. This, this portion, uh, portion four, I guess what you would want to call it, is actually talking about the realistic goal setting, all right? And when you tie all these together, you start kind of seeing how, like, everything in this series is like progression right back to the nine factors of confidence, right? So when we look at, we made a specific goal. We made that specific goal measurable. We made that measurable goal achievable. And now we need to make these achievable goals very realistic. And these two kind of go hand in hand. I said it yesterday realistic goal okay someone would not go outside and say I'm gonna grow wings and fly I mean you know that's not realistic right <laughs> so let's just get real with it but what we are talking about realistically is that you understand that if, if you do not set these goals in this kind of progression if you don't make them you know, specific enough to conquer, if you don't make them measurable enough to conquer, if you don't make them achievable, then <clears throat> it's all for naught. Well, the same thing goes for realistic, and that's what we need to understand here is a realistic goal means it's something you can really do. It's something that is fathomable, okay? It's not some grow, ring, <laughs> you know, grow your wings and fly type thing. So if, if you set yourself up for failure, that's going to take your confidence down a few notches, right? So you need to make sure that you actually have the thought process, you have the words, you have the goal set to something that you can accomplish. It's kind of like uh, Bannister, okay? Now, when he broke that four-minute mile, before then, that was untouchable, all right? That was, no. there's no way anybody could ever do it. But, you know, Roger Bannister said, yes, I can. And he trained. He set a specific goal of what he wanted, a four-minute mile. He set a measurable goal of how he was going to get there. He made it achievable, and he made it realistic because he knew he was timing himself, and he knew that he could get better over time. He didn't just say, wake up and say, that's it. I'm running a four-minute mile. It was a progression. So that's kind of the, the way I want to end this is just look at your business, okay? You know what you're doing, whether you're a part of ILN, GRN, PLS, whatever. You know what the goals that you need to accomplish for your business and what you need to do to make that achievable and to make that measurable, to make that specific. And it starts with making it really realistic, <laughs> You know, all these other steps are great, but it's got to be a realistic goal for you, not something made by somebody else. Because there's so many people, I could give you a realistic goal for me, and you would sit there and say, well, that's just asinine. That doesn't make sense. I can't do that. I don't have that kind of time. So make sure what you're doing is realistic. Make sure it's something that's realistic for you and where you are right now. The whole point of this, friends, is that you you build upon each other, that you build one step at a time. If you jump from point A to point Z, you're going to fail. It's like winning the lottery. If you've never had money before and then you all of a sudden get all this money, 
that's why so many uh, 90 percent of all lottery winners become bankrupt because they don't know how to manage their money they don't know how to execute wisely because they've never been there thought process their goals were not set they didn't have anything specific measurable achievable and they sure as heck didn't have anything realistic because it was a fantasy so I want you to understand that everything needs to be a step-by-step -step progression if you jump from A to Z if something happens in the middle it's gonna be like a house of cards it's gonna fall so you want to make sure you're building that foundation each step along the way. It gets sturdier and sturdier and sturdier and sturdier as it goes up. And and I mean, really, that's the thing. So I'm going to get off here. I got to do a couple of sit-ups or something and uh, go cut the old mop top and jump in the shower. So I will see you guys on the other side. And listen, it's all about being smart. All right? Smart goals are basically a way to work smarter, not harder. You feel me? If you do, holler back at your boy. Go ahead and like this video. Share it to your friends. Share it to whoever else you think could actually need this series because I'm not spamming you a link or anything like that. I'm just trying to help you progress and help you set those goals that you know you need to set. So, time to get warmed up, baby. It's been cold here in the hills. So again, it's your boy Big Chips with bizandchips.com. Make it a great day. I dare you.